This is Deborah Grice. Now, Deborah's work is, is exquisite. And what I really enjoy about this is somebody who takes a an historic genre, you know, the kind of, um, oh, what's it? There's a term for... Um, Landscapes uh, at with you know the, it's I, I mean I think it's you're not sure if it's sunset or sunrise but oh, it yeah. has this kind of liminal sort of at the edge of the day dusk or dawn yeah. sort of quality yeah. and the lights yeah so there's something deeply romantic and conventional about it but what is in what isn't conventional it's just this intervention. Mm. Mm. These wonderful interventions yes and one can understand lights you know the radiancy of light. But not the way that, that behaves, or if it is, it's seen in such a dramatic form. I just think it's absolutely captivating. Oh, that's actually quite interesting because yeah, yeah. it just because it's also actual gold that bit. Yes, it? oh, it is gold. Yes, mm. yes. But what I'm saying is, it's it's exciting because it flies so close to a set of conventions. Mm. You know what? That's actually really clever because because when I saw it before, mm. it, I, I did see those conventions. But now you talk about it, it, it destroys those conventions in a weirdly. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's so, but it's quite imperceptible. It's quite so subtle. Oh, it's it? it's, it's understated. Yes, nobody's mm. you know nobody's hammering at the door. No, this is subtle stuff. That's really clever. Yeah, mm. and then of course gradually that sort of Whistler esque sort of thing. You know, you 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 re you recalibrate and you start to see the vestigial fences mm. and the kind of uh, what is it? It's like that wonderful beginning at our mutual friend in Dickens when they're describing the Thames near Gravesend mm. and the murk. Mm. Oh, 